as it is the student version of the solidworks so before installing this the very important step is to turn off the internet the lan and uh, any uh, antivirus protections on your pc so turn on the airplane mode airplane mode and get rid of the lan cables internet and then remove the, the and turn off the real time protections the cloud deliver protection and uh, <clears throat> tamper protection so follow the e step which i am following in the video as I'm using the window 10 so maybe these steps are a little bit different if you are using a different windows but to make sure that you are disconnecting the internet and turning off the firewalls and the internet and the the, the antivirus protections uh, without that without a this step we are not able to crack the software and run the software efficiently so the next step is to open the drive where you save the solidworks and click on the crack folder and uh, open the text file with me here the all steps are written which we have to follow number one step we already did the installation and number second step is the uh, to block the outgoing internet essence by means of window firewall it's a simple process so type the control panel and uh, click on the program option and after that select the programs and the features and then on the right left hand side click on the turn windows feature on or off click on the 3.5 net framework search for it if the files are missing so we have to download the files then go for the internet turn on the internet download the files apply the changes and after that turn off the internet it's very important step which we have to follow completed the request successfully and the the next step is to uninstall the previous version of flexnet server so for this go open the solvers flexnet server folder and click on the server removal application file right click and run it as an administrator press any key to continue and this will this ensure that we remove the previous version of the server and the next thing is we have to run the next next network serial licensing and so right click click on the merge then run it and yes are you sure you want to continue yes so it, it, it is yes it has been successfully added to the registry oh yeah that's a good good thing and the next step is to uh, copy the folder flexnet server where to the drive c where we want to install this folder it can be any drive but in this video i'm going to install it on drive c so i will copy this folder to the drive c and uh, yes here and then uh, uh well then we have to run the server installation first we remove the server and the, in the next step we have to install the new server on the drive c for this so following me then we are almost on the middle of the way the other thing is to go to the same file and click on the application solidworks application file mount it and open this file and uh, then go on the setup right click and run it as an administrator it will start running uh, it's a yellow warning which says that uh, it is good to uh, reboot the system but i don't think so i'm i press the continue you can do the same and then click on the run option and uh, yes select the install on this computer and click on the next and here all the 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 packages the design the visualization simulation scam and electrical stuff so i want them all that's why i select all if you choose if you want to choose a selective but you can go for that and uh, cancel this warning it's a yellow it's not serious and accept the terms of the software install now oh what's that now what's that message the space the space required is 25 gb and the available space is 23 gb it means i have to create 2 gb more so i have to remove some file from c to another drive so that i can create uh, 24 gb at least for the software and um, yes you can check it before installing the software that software is 15 gb and the space required to install the software is 25 gb so it's a big software because i choose all the things to install and another thing you can do is to change the location 
you can may choose another drive which have more size or you can create a 25 gb space on the same drive so it is up to you okay this is fine now uh, install now oh uh, installation may fail no oh, that's fine because i have 25 gb yes and the post as server it's very important the port as server you must type the same numbers 25734 at localhost so type this as it is don't change it otherwise you face the trouble so type it and click the ok option i get i think so that we are ready to go and uh, yes click on the ok and uh, yes i have a sapphire uh, uh, yes the, the the initial the installing selected products and uh, initialization is started so don't reinstall the pc and the important thing is that during installation of the software never uh, reboot or reinstall the computer restore the computer so what's next next open the task manager and uh, go search for the the options uh, for the, the solidworks fs and solidworks background and, and click on the end task uh, yes this one too just to make sure that uh, no software is running uh, in the background uh, this is the fourth step after the end of the step for uh, setup 4.1 and in the 4.2 the uh, go to the uh, drive c where the maybe 20 30 minutes 32 percent completed uh, not the plagiarism checker go to the um, the search for the uh, the folder sorry works and uh, uh, search for the file net tape i32.dll if this file exists then kindly make sure to delete this file and if there's no file then we are fine and uh, yes yeah, so we are done with the step 4.1 and the 4.3 is to rename the file so we have to search if the file exists we have to rename the file accordingly and if the file doesn't exist then we are fine and the another the final sub step of the step 4 is to copy the folder solidworks cop from the save drive to the c drive so we go to the, the solidworks folder open the crack and then copy the folder solidworks cop and then uh, <clears throat> go to the program files and open the solidworks cop and then click on the continue to just to copy that folder in that drive and uh, just click on the continue so we successfully copied that folder into the C and uh, copy all these folders too from the service corp go to the drive C open the program file and SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS yes and replace all the copy of copy that file and place all the files in the destination so it is also a very wider step that you copy all the files and paste it here then run solid squared enable solid squared enabler yes so click on the or, or, or right click on that and click on the merge option and then the one option and yes i'll show you want to continue yes we want to continue this and uh, yes it's ready to go and uh, yes the re i guess it's ready then you are free to reboot the computer and then click on the solidworks program file and yes it's downloaded just to make sure we can open the port file don't ask it again we don't need any update or stuff like that we can update the software whenever it's available go for the port and choose the the system yeah, yes don't show this page oh yeah it's yeah you can see the front page it's successfully downloaded and thank you very much can you subscribe my channel